Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Fruit Set. In the previous videos, I explained what an Arduino is and how to make simple projects using Arduino. We also made different types of beginner level robots using Arduino. For most of the robots, I made my own PCBs. After watching those videos, so many people asked me how I made those PCBs, how I designed those PCBs. So guys, in this video, I'll be showing you guys how I make my own PCBs for my projects. Guys, everything in this video is free and all you need to get started with your first PCB layout is just a web browser. Guys, if you find this video useful, consider supporting my channel by giving this video a like and subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button here. I would really appreciate it. If you have any doubts or you would like to ask us something, shoot it in the comment box or you can use our WhatsApp group. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is go to this video description and click on this link. And this link will take you to Altium's page. There you will be asked three questions. Depending on your answers, they will choose the right product for you. On the third section, click on this link. And in this page, you can create a free account. The advantage of having a free account is you can draw the circuit, create a layout and save it online. Once you saved it, you can access it from literally anywhere. All you need is a web browser. You can even collaborate or share your design with your friends as well as your clients. This is an account I just started. To get started, click on this create button and create project. Here you can give your project a name. I'll be naming it as LED Demo. Now scroll down to the bottom and click Save and Open in Editor. Now that will open up a canvas where you can start your work. And this is where we'll be drawing your circuit. Now if you take a closer look, you will be able to see some tabs over the canvas. See? Schematics, PCB layout. We'll be drawing the circuit in the Schematics tab. And once we are done with the circuit, we will be using this PCB layout tab to design our PCB. Now we will go to schematics tab and start adding components. You see this button here? This is the components button. You can click on that and add your components. Here you will find almost all the components you will need for your projects. In the search box, type LED and hit enter. Then it will list out all the different types of LEDs you can use for your project. Here, one thing to keep in mind if you are planning to design a PCB layout is, the component you are going to use does have a proper footprint. Only then, it will show the components under the PCB layout tab. If you want to get more information about any components in this list, just click on this button. It will even show you the footprint of that component. For now, we will be using this LED. Now close that window and you can place that component to the schematics. We have placed the LED. Now we will add the resistor just like the LED. Ok, here we have successfully placed the LED and the resistor. Now we will take a look at the PCB layout tab. There you should be able to see the footprint of LED as well as the resistor. Ok. Now we will go back to the schematics tab and finish the circuit by adding the remaining components. So we have added all the components we need. The header, switch, resistor and the LED. You should also see all these components under the PCB layout tab. Now we will finish the circuit by connecting all the components and drawing the circuit. To connect all the components, you can use this NET tool. Using this NET tool, you will be able to connect all the terminals of the components the way you want. So here we connect the positive terminal of the battery to the switch, switch to the resistor, resistor to the LED and LED to the negative terminal of the battery. So the schematics is now ready. Now we will take a look at the PCB layout. Go to PCB layout tab. And you will see connections in all the components. But these connections are logical connections. There are no physical connections. To make a physical connection, we will need to draw the tracks that connects all the components. Before drawing the tracks, you have to arrange the components properly. 
you have to place and align the component in such a way that it will be easy for us to route and there won't be any wastage of space. Okay, it's enough for the time being. To draw the track, you can use this trace tool. So select the trace tool, zoom in so that you are comfortable with the view and start connecting all the terminals of the components. Actually it's very easy to draw the tracks but if you make a small mistake here, it will change the entire circuit and you won't be able to use this PCB for that purpose. So you have to carefully connect the footprints of all the components. Another thing to notice is that these dark blue tracks we are drawing is actually on the top side of the board. We have almost completed the circuit but one connection is still remaining. We have to connect the resistor to the LED. But here is a problem. Whichever way we try to connect, the new track will always intersect with any of these previous tracks. So what we are going to do is, we are going to draw that track on the bottom side of the board. To select the bottom layer, go to layers, go to bottom and select bottom copper layer. Now we can continue with the circuit. These light blue tracks are actually on the bottom side of the board. The dark blue on the other hand is on the top side. That means, even if the dark blue and the light blue lines intersect in this canvas, that won't be a problem in the physical board because both these lines are on either side of the board. Now all the components are connected using tracks. It's time for us to draw the boundary of the board. Each board will be cut on that shape. The advantage of upwater is that you will be able to draw different shapes very easily. To draw a boundary for your board, click on this path tool. Here. I'll be drawing a simple outline for this board. So before you start drawing, you have to select the right layer. Go to layers and select mechanical details. Now you can select path tool and draw a simple outline around the circuit. The best thing is you can draw so many complex outlines for your board within seconds. Okay, that's it. So once you are done drawing with the tool, you can press escape. Our PCB is now ready. Now you can export this PCB file in whichever format you want. There are so many supported file types. To export this PCB file, go to projects, export files and select a format you want. Here I will be downloading the Gerber file. So. We have the Gerber file now. So this is easy right? From now on you will be able to create your own PCBs for your project. If you have any doubts or you would like to ask us something, you can shoot it in the comment box. If you are really interested in Arduino, Raspberry Pi, Home Automation, Robotics and other fun hobby projects, make sure you check out our channel. You will find tons and tons of it and I am sure you will enjoy it. If you like more videos from us. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon next to it. We will see you on the next video. So bye friends.